What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and we are here with my new Glock. Now, the thing is, yes, I already have opened it, so it's not a true unboxing. And on top of that, we all know what comes in a Glock as is. We know what comes with it. So, I'm still going to go over it and give you my first impressions of exactly how I feel at this moment about this firearm, because trust me, it is a good thing. Anyways, Glock 30 SF. That's a shortened frame. And it has reduced grip dimensions, which I actually like. I think this is a very ergonomic Glock. Um, as you can see, it does have a rail, Glock 30. This one's made in Austria. And it's just beautiful. I know it looks like every other Glock, but it is different. The grip is different. And 45 ACP. So now I have a Glock in every caliber except 380. I have 45 GAP, 45 ACP, 40 Smith & Wesson, 357 SIG, 9mm... Um, I'm trying to think what else it, Whatever else is in there that I didn't cover so now I guess I need to get a Glock 42 or if I can ever get that Glock 28 somehow over in the US But anyways first thing I noticed when grabbing it which I've held it before But first thing I noticed is I like it better than my old Glock 36 I used to have the single stack version of this firearm Which was a Glock 36 and the grip on that felt a little weird This I still like is a little chunky even it even though it does have reduced grip dimensions I think this way it's like the perfect size and then this little hump right here for your palm swell feels really good um, really ergonomic this is gonna be a 10 plus 1 setup and I believe this um, 30 SF Gen 3 is on the California roster so if you're looking for a firearm and you are in California or state like that I'm pretty sure that this particular Glock 30 10 rounds 10 plus 1 45 ACP is on your list and remember that is the SF as you can see right here just a beautifully made firearm and what I notice about the 45 ACP Glocks I don't know what it is they just run so smooth even the 45 GAP slide it racks so smooth it feels so clean it almost feels better than like the 19 or the 26 when it's you know when you're just re manipulating the slide it feels like it slides better for some reason I don't know if that's a guide rod I'm not 100% sure what it is but it is an awesome awesome thing like I said 45 ACP Glock 30 and this is just at that size where it's just under the size of a Glock 19 It is gonna be a little thicker this way a little thicker in the back, but a height this way and on top of that um, With it is gonna be thicker, but smaller overall smaller slide smaller grip and it feels really ergonomic the hand It just feels natural something about the way they did the base plate on this It just feels good in the hand now obviously it does come with regular Glock sights so I am going to be swapping those out. I do have a night sight front for the time being. Um, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the slide, um, sight-wise. So anyways, on top of that, since it's a Glock, you know, you're going to get your extra backup mag. Which this came with a 9mm mag. What in the world? Sorry guys, I'm confused. I didn't catch this at the range. What in the world? They must have swapped it. So look, this looks like a Glock 19 Gen 3 9mm mag restricted to 10 rounds. I only got one mag with my Glock 30. That is the weirdest thing. Sorry guys, I didn't even notice that. I just never had an issue with Glock. That is hilarious. That's actually pretty funny. Never had this happen, so obviously we're down a, a magazine. So we're going to call that company up, and I have no use for this 10 round magazine because I would never carry 10 rounds in something that can should hold 15 think this is for the 19 though anyways but 10 rounds I will never use this um, might have to swap out internals we'll see but I'm definitely gonna call up where I got the firearm from and get a new mag I don't know how this, something like this even happens this is a really that is funny sorry guys I didn't notice this before the video I swear to God I had no clue this was happening so I'm gonna have to fix that problem that is a first Glock has never done this to me so that is a first on top of that you're gonna get your lock you're gonna get your brush and you're gonna get your brush handle um, it's just a Glock, you know, they they give you what you need, and that's the thing, um, this is what I was going to say about this, you get what you need with a Glock, literally, you can run this firearm right away, go test it, t put 200 rounds through it, once you put 100, 200, 300 rounds through this thing, and you know it's reliable, test the box of hollow points, and you're good to carry this, um, 
but that, that is, of course, if Glock gives you the right magazine because you want a backup magazine. But literally what's so nice about Glock and every other company, I guess you could say, is you get something like this, you can trust it's or maybe not every company, but with Glock, you can trust this firearm right here to be everything you need for self-defense, home defense, and so on. This is going to be 10 plus 1 rounds of 45 ACP, plus there's extended mags, and so on. But anyways, I could be completely fine carrying this right now for the rest of my life. It is a good firearm. I just got to make sure it's reliable. And you might want to throw some night sights on there. Um, but if all you have is one firearm, don't worry about it. This is a great option to go. And every time I've shot 45 ACP out of a Glock, it's ran so smooth. Just like the 45 GAP, it runs so, so smooth in these platforms. Um, I really like the angle of this grip. It's not as far out as it normally is on Glocks, but it's like almost the perfect angle. Um, I do like the 43X, but it feels completely different. This is much thicker. This is going to be a thick boy, but I like it. And this is just at that size, like I was talking about earlier, is where it's almost perfect for carry. For me, I like Glock 26 size, but if I had to, would I go up to something a little bigger like this? Of course. Um, I'm just going to take it to the range this weekend, really test this thing, make sure it runs smooth as can be, and then after that, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, I really look forward to getting a holster for this thing. Um, potentially making it one of my carry options because I do love 45 ACP and I do love 44 or 45 ACP out of Glocks. Anyways, yeah, so sorry about the magazine thing. I didn't know that was happening. So I swear I didn't do this. I swear that's literally the, um, that's the way it came. So I didn't even check the spare mag. I just saw like a mag sitting here. I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. But I should have... <laughs> Should have checked the base plates even. That would have fixed things. But anyways, I will get that extra mag, and I will keep you updated on what the response is to this situation. Anyways, thanks for watching.